The Illuminati was a secret society that existed in Europe, uh, started in 1776. It infiltrated the upper echelons of masonry, and that is how it has managed to exist since that time. A chief piece of evidence is the radical presence of Citizen Genet. Genet is said to be responsible for the Whiskey Rebellion of 1794. And George Washington actually sent an army to put down uh, this revolution that was incited by uh, Citizen Genet, uh, who was the French ambassador to the United States, who was a Jacobin. And the Jacobins were simply a front name for the Illuminati. The Illuminati was here. In 1798, the same year George Washington wrote his letter to the Reverend Schneider, another Reverend, Jedediah Morse, gave a speech in which he claimed that the Illuminati had its emissaries at work in America. Morse also associated the Illuminati with the French Jacobins. Among the chief icons of the Jacobins was the red cap worn by the French revolutionaries, known as the Phrygian cap or the cap of liberty. Easily recognized as a cap that, when worn, was often pulled forward, though sometimes to the side. The cap was not only worn by the French rebels, but was often shown symbolically at the end of a staff or upon the head of their goddess of liberty, Marianne, as in this famous painting that glorifies the French Revolution. The same Phrygian cap is found among the great seals of a number of U.S. states, on the official seal of the U.S. Army, and on several figures of liberty inside the Capitol building. But its place of greatest prominence seems to be in the Library of Congress, where the Phrygian cap is carved at the top of all the circular window frames and panels in the library. The Phrygian cap dates back to ancient Rome and was said to be worn by slaves who had obtained their freedom and as such became a symbol of liberty. The chief god worshipped at that time was Mithras, who is seen in many images and sculptures wearing this headpiece. Like the gods Baal and the Egyptian Horus, Mithras was a dying god who was later resurrected. In the pantheon of pagan gods, Mithras occupies the place of the Masonic Christ. The Phrygian cap is also associated with the mythical figure of Ganymede, often portrayed as a handsome young man wearing this cap of liberty. Because of his beauty, Ganymede was carried away by Zeus in the form of an eagle and made the cupbearer of the gods. In time, Zeus gave him a place in the heavens where he became the constellation Aquarius. Throughout the 20th century, esoteric teachers have taught that mankind is entering into the age of Aquarius, also called the New Age. In fact, Freemasonry's premier publication, the Scottish Rite Journal, was once called the New Age Magazine. The Phrygian caps are also seen in this image of the ancient Magi, who followed the star at the birth of Christ. Freemasonry teaches that this is where the Eastern Star gets its name. The, uh, the use of that is actually deceptive because if you think about it, the three wise men were in the East. They were probably Persian. And they were looking West and saw the star in Bethlehem. So what that passage means is we have seen his star while we were in the East and looking West. That only makes sense geographically. Nevertheless, esoterics have long believed that the star looked upon by the Magi was in fact Sirius, the blazing star that brings light from the east. It is about a much more ancient connection to the Magi, to, you know, we three kings of Orient are bearing gifts who traveled so far. Those Magi are Zoroastrian. Yet not everyone accepts that the Magi were originally followers of Zoroaster. Many Bible scholars believe the Magi were Persians, who were influenced by the writings of the Old Testament prophet Daniel, who lived in that region during the time of Nebuchadnezzar the Great. One of the titles given to Daniel was Rab Mag, or Chief of the Magi. In his writings, Daniel was inspired by an angel 
who gave him a timeline in which to expect the Christ of Israel. Many scholars believe the Magi were in fact following the prophecies of Daniel. In contrast, Freemasons believe they were Zoroastrian mystics guided by the star Sirius, and hence Sirius came to represent the Masonic concept of the Christ. This image shows the prophet Zoroaster wearing a Phrygian cap. Yet Zoroaster is most often portrayed with a beard, wearing a robe, belted at the waist with an eastern head garment. The name Zoroaster is said to mean radiant one and is a reference to the light that shines above his head, said to be the light of Sirius. The dog star Sirius is said to be at least one of the origins of the Masonic pentagram, which leads us by far to the most controversial element in the design for Washington, D.C.